Today we're going to expand on the light table that we talked about last week in JMRI. So let's take a look at it right here. Okay, you'll see that on the left hand side I have the Mega and a series of LEDs, green and red. And on the right side we have the table for all my turnouts that I have hooked up right now. I don't have lights on all of them, just four of them. But as you can see, this one here is thrown and we'll close that and you can see that it goes from green to red and then back to green and this one here when it's closed will go to throne position and that changes that to red and back to green this is in the throne position that goes to green when it's closed and back to red when it's thrown and this one's closed and as thrown it goes to red and back to green so i'm going to show you how to do that in jmri with arduino through cmri so let's get going with that right now Hi, I'm Tom Kovichak, and this is Tom's Trains and Things. This channel was created to help other modelers who are in need of guidance in pursuing their dream of building a model railroad. And JMRI and Arduino is a big part of most everybody's model railroad, and we're going to take a dive a little bit deeper into what we could do with it. Now, last week I showed you Arduino and CMRI. I set up a light table on there and showed you how to turn it on and off. So we're going to expand on that a little bit today and use JMRI with the turnouts. If this is your first time on this channel and you would like to see more videos like this, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And while you're at it, ding that bell and, you know, do all those notification things so you could be notified whenever I have a new video coming out. And also check out my playlist page. You'll see that I have over 40 playlists on there. The videos are categorized by subject so you could find them easily. So... Let me show you what's going on with this right now. Now I have a Digitrack system and I'm using DS64. I have three DS64s. I have about 10 of them hooked up to the DS64 right now. And one of them is hooked up to a hair. Tortoise and a hair, I don't have hooked up to LEDs, but you could also do that on there. Now the good thing about this is you could put your mega inside the panel and run your LEDs right there. You don't have to run additional wires out to contacts and on your tortoise switch machine or on relays. You don't have to run run wires back and forth like you normally would it's just right there in the control panel on a mega i have it on a mega you could do it on an arduino you know you could do it on a nano you could put it on any one of them and you could increase the number of outputs by using shift registers also but instead of going into all that detail i have it on a mega right now so let me show you a little bit about what's going on with it we're going to be using Panel Pro, and you can see on the tabs down here, I have CMRI on the first tab, which I showed you how to set up. And on the second tab, I have LocoNet. You would set this up the same way. I have Digitrack, but if you have NCE or anything else, you would select it right here. There's Easy DCC, there's uh, LCC, there's Lens. DCC++. There is a number of different categories that you could go by here, but since I have Digitrack, I have it set up as Digitrack. LocoNet with the PR3. It's on COM port 5. My command station is a DB150, and it's in a LocoNet. Once you have that set up, you would hit the save button, and then it would automatically restart and then come back up. Once you have your DCC system set up in there, you're going to want to go back into preferences and make sure that under defaults, everything is lined up. All these radio buttons are selected right here. Hit the save. If you make any changes on it, you get a restart. And we'll go back to CMRI and you can see that it opens back up with the turnout table on there now the first thing you have to do is you have to set up your turn your turnouts now the way i did it on mine was i took my throttle right here 
and I went to switch and I dialed in every one of my turnouts in here and I started with I have 11 12 13 and 14th then I jumped to uh, 22 which is my hair and you could operate it and the next ones are 108 109 110 111 112 113 114 and 115 and once you do that then your table will populate with these numbers right here i'm going to create a couple of new entries in here just to show you how it looks when you create them so i'm going to hit in 311 and you can see i'm doing closed and thrown in here and i'm going to do 312 closed and thrown so that's how it looks like when you do a new entry and when you name the entry you just name it in here you just click on the field and that's all there is to it and the same thing goes for this field right here you fill it in and if you have to go back in and change anything that's when you use the edit and I'll show you more on the edit right here come up with a uh, a dialog box like this and you could put in mine is Leakin Creek lead in the comments right here you could make comments to yourself and I put LEDs Arduino pin two and three throne which was which when I start up I normally have it in the throne position and to identify it that's the near track so that's down at that end where I can't see anything and you will go down and you will add everything you need you'll click OK and you'll go down the line and add all of your turnouts the description of the turnouts these two turnouts right here that I don't have any on it yet I don't have them hooked up they're installed on my layout but I don't have any wiring to them right now so you would go down through there and fill out all this and fill out everything that you need on here in your comments section once you have all your turnouts set up in your JMRI table then you're going to want to go to the light table so you could add anything that you want to that one there okay now we already have our eight LEDs in there as it is nothing happens right now unless I click on it here I could click on it manually like I showed you in the last video I'm going to show you fresh how to add the controllers for this one right here the mountain lead we're going to use it on pins eight and nine that's the last pins on my light table so we'll go over to the light table here we have light seven and eight so we'll start with number seven that's the green one so we'll come over to add controller we'll use by turnout status and we're going to be doing mountain lead it's already highlighted there okay so we'll use closed we have closed so we'll do create and we'll update and boom and we'll go to number eight for the red we'll add controller mountain lead we'll go throne create and we'll do an update click here we'll come over to file store Arduino LEDs boom so now we have those right there we'll come back to the turnouts and let's see if we can get this over here on the split screen so we could see what's happening here so this one here thrown that one's closed and thrown so there we go that's how you do it to add the turnout for a controller for the LEDs and you go all the way down the list of all the turnouts that you want to control LEDs on and that's all there is to it 
In future videos, I'll go a little bit deeper into what you can do with JMRI and Arduino so we could learn what's going on with that and you could use the utilize it to the best of your ability the very next one will be creating a panel in panel pro so we could switch our turnouts right from the panel so until the next time we'll see ya we'll use pins or light seven and light eight so we'll go over here and Sadie is barking her head off right now.